If you're as bad at putting together Halloween costumes as I am, then this video is for you. Hey everyone, my name's Kate. And I love Halloween. I love how Halloween presents the opportunity to dress up as whatever you want. I mean, in an ideal world, we'd all be able to wear whatever we would want every day of the year, but we don't live in an ideal world now, do we? So every year I get so excited for Halloween and every November 1st, I go into the next year thinking, I'm going to have the most thoughtful, creative Halloween costume that I've ever had next year. And then what usually happens is I end up waiting until the last minute, like October 20th, October 22nd, when nothing can really ship to me on time because the whole year has passed me by and I've lost a lot of time. And then when that happens, I usually find myself perusing TikTok or Instagram or Pinterest looking for easy Halloween costumes that you can find in your closet. And then nine times out of 10, these people who are making the costumes I made from clothes I already have videos already own specific accessories that are very detailed and very much point to a specific character. This video is for the people who truly just have clothes and don't have costumes in their wardrobe. I do have pieces of costumes I've collected throughout the years. I'm not inclined to use them for this video though because I feel like that's cheating. So that being said, let's get started on Halloween costumes that you can find in your closet. I'm gonna try these outfits on for you, which I usually don't do. And if I look a little round or a little bloated, I'm on my period and I just ate, so. I dare you to say something. As someone whose wardrobe is predominantly black, white, and neutral, there's one character I always get asked if I'm dressed up as, no matter the day of the year, and it's Wednesday Adams. I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda asking for it when I bought this dress, but you don't have to ask me every time I wear black and white if I'm dressed up as Wednesday Adams. The joke is old. I have shortened jaw a little bit, so hopefully you can see more of the outfit. But this dress is a bodycon. It also, ooh, it's kind of short. Now I'm going to show you how I braid my hair and make it not look like it's flat against my head. When it comes to doing my hair up, I have to be really careful because I have a flat head because I was an orphan and they didn't have enough people on staff to actually properly hold babies. So I've learned how to do like simple hairstyles but add volume to them. So what you're gonna do is instead of doing a French braid all the way down from your head to your neck, the base of your neck, you're just going to take pieces from the front and the back and then twist them. So I've done that all the way down and now you can see it's just like twisted. And now I'm gonna take this piece. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna separate the two strands now to three approximately even strands. Approximately even is the key word. And then I'm just gonna braid all the way down. I'm not gonna do the other side of my head just cause I only have one hairband. Ugh, so just ignore that I have hair on the other side of my head. Pretend that it's shaved. We're not done yet because you're going to loosen your plaits. I used a new word, plait instead of braid. I got that word from like YouTube from the like 2012, 2013 British YouTuber era. But essentially, you're just gonna loosen everything you did to make it look a little bit more casual. I like to emphasize the casualness around my ear so it doesn't look too weird. I don't know how much better it looks than a normal braid. Oop, there we go. That's how I like it. I like it a little messier because I don't like things flat against my head. Because like I said, I got a flat head. Now, if you're like me and you've been through many seasons of your life when it comes to your sense of fashion. Halloween is the one time of the year where you really appreciate the fact that you haven't cleaned your closet out enough. That being said, I'm a hippie. Fun fact, I did actually buy these glasses because I was like, oh my God, I just want to see the world through the lens of twilight, but like all the time. Spoiler alert, your eyes just adjust to the color. Now I think it's important to remember that if you're at the point where you're scavenging around your closet for a costume, you're going off of vibes at this point. We're not going for precision, just vibes. That being said, I'm Pearl. If I glued down my eyebrows and put on blue eyeshadow, I could totally be Pearl. Fun fact, and I don't know if you find yourself in the same predicament, but I usually almost have a costume. Like, I have overalls, but they're not overall shorts, and Pearl wears overall shorts with her little striped tube top. Now, you remember how I said I've been through a lot of phases, a lot of changes in my life when it comes to the way I dress? Just remember that. I actually do still think this little over thing is pretty cool. I just can't wear it to work. I'm an e-girl. Hold on, let me accessorize. This belt is how you know I'm legitimate. These pants actually don't have like any belt loops, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know how I feel about the belt. I don't like the belt. I think it's a different vibe. Same genre different vibe. I also put it on chains, but like I didn't want to put it on over because that felt like too much, but then under it, you just can't see them at all. But then over, it's like, I feel like it's too much. Yep, no, this is why I don't accessorize. People online, they like to show how you wear an outfit versus how you style an outfit. Some of us can only wear clothes and I think we just as a society need to accept that. All right, now let's get specific when it comes to experiences. Grab the leather skirt you bought when you were 16 because you were trying to be promiscuous but didn't really know how to do it. And also grab the corset that you thrifted. Thrifted is the important part because it doesn't quite fit, but you can approximately make it fit because it is a corset. In my case, they are both black. See what I mean? The bust 
too big for me. And finally, grab a long leather coat that you bought because it was trendy, but you had to get really selective with the one that you bought because you didn't want it to look too much like a 90s school shooter but you still wanted to look chic. Put it all together and now you're Charlie's angel. I can't tell if I would like the skirt better layered under or over the corset, but I'm inclined to like the more under the corset, A, because it would fit better, but then B, because it like makes a different waistline on me. Honestly, I'm shocked that it still snipped. Oh wow, that makes a really weird waistline on me, doesn't it? But it's nice to know that I can zip this over the corset. Hold on. Why is this kind of slay though? <laughs> I feel like a dark ballerina. This one's gonna take some imagination now. But if you could go to the arts and crafts supply store and buy a few black feathers, or did your makeup just really black and extreme? Is this not black swan? It's not black swan. This isn't black swan, but at the same time, if it's like October 30th and it's kind of cold out and no one's really looking at your outfit, you can say, yeah, I'm black swan. Yeah, I'm black swan. Yeah, yeah, I'm black swan. I'm Black Swan. Black Swan would act like that. I would never get the role. Mila Kunis will always be my antagonist. Now for entertainment purposes, I'm gonna go through a few of those hyper-specific costumes I mentioned earlier. For example, cat, cat, another cat, or Chloe. This one's been very popular with friends. Cowgirl. <laughs> Scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> May I just do in some chocolate and some hazardous working conditions? <sighs> Don't ask me why I own any of these things. This was from when I was at the Babadook. This is from when I was cringy. And this is from when I tried to be business professional. And then I ended up looking like Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Listen, clout goggles are kind of atrocious, but nothing makes me happier. Scratch that. Reverse it. Okay, that was all the costumes I have for you today. The costume I'll actually be wearing is behind this door. So, comment down below what you think is behind door number one. And tune in next week to find out the answer. It actually might be the next next week. Thank you for watching this video. It's a lot different from what I usually post. So, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And comment down below what you liked or didn't like about it. The answer cannot be my face. And if you like me, subscribe to the channel. I post videos every Friday at 6pm. Except for the one week that I didn't because I had laryngitis. Big thanks to our special guest, Rob. Any words on the matter? He says I look fabulous. That's it for the video. Peace.